Smell that? It's time for a swing dance reaction video. No. 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 Yeah! Yes! I love this category, Strictly Lindy, because it is short. It's not necessarily just a choreographed piece reminiscent to like a showcase or a classic, but you get the heart of Lindy Hop, which is social dancing. It's a great balance of both of these concepts. And I look forward to always seeing who can actually hit that balance the best. Just enough choreography, just enough social dancing, and I want to be entertained! Let's see what happens. Let's see. And here we go. <laughs> Here's the logo. That logo is like being branded. We know all about that here in Oklahoma. It's going down, folks! 2019 Dragon Swing! Strictly Lindy Finals! The audience is like, <laughs> yeah, here we go! Good timing, good timing. So far, not choreographed. Okay, there we go. Okay. All right, one word from that one, balanced. That's the word I like to see on that, okay? <laughs> okay. All right, all right. What I take away from that is joy. Okay. Yes, energy. That's what I got from that one. Okay. Control. Ah, yes. Diversity. Yes. Yeah. 
<laughs> yes. This band! Okay. <laughs> yes, that's good. <laughs> Creativity on that last one. That was the highlight of the competition, that little slow-mo thing. At least I will remember it. So some of the couples um, had a really strong first set and then their second set was kind of, I would almost say lazy. And this is like really hard for a lot of people to remember when you're doing like strictly, you have to come out swinging both times, both sets, because you don't know who's going to come behind you with the killer move. And in many cases, judges might be not having a decision at that time, mainly because they're holding out and waiting to see what happens in that second set. And I'm so proud of the couple with the blue. The gentleman had a blue suit on, white shoes, and his partner. Because they came out with aerials and nobody else was doing that. They came out strong uh, with the aerials in the first set. They came out strong with the aerials in the second set. I saw their control. But they also had timing when they were doing their choreography. They were doing spin, 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 spins. Look at the camera. I think it was judges, right? Look at the judges, Charleston. <clears throat> they just came out and, and crushed it. They didn't do anything I didn't haven't seen before, but because they were so good with the control and the timing and they were doing stuff others weren't doing, which equates to something that we're not seeing, they were doing aerials. I immediately looked at them and said, okay, they are the most balanced and the most diverse and as a judge, it would be only fair to me to go, yeah, they, they, they crushed it, their first place. Here's what's interesting, my second place was, initially the gentleman with the hat, 
uh, and is partnered with the Tannish Yellow Skirk. They came out doing a lot of things with control. I mean, they were doing some stuff that, that takes a lot of practice and a lot of skill and social dancing. So their first set, I had them ranked immediately at second. But something happened in their second set. It was as if, I don't know. I don't know what happened. Like they maybe forgot their set or they were just going to kind of improvise or whatever. But immediately, I, you know, I was first wanting to see if they were going to top what they were going to, they did the first set. And in a way, they it was kind of disappointing for me. They didn't. And as a judge, I, I immediately dropped them back down. They weren't second place anymore because of the second set, which is huge. I was kind of disappointed in that. Um, I was let down thinking, man, what are they going to do next? But the, the couple that surprised me because their first set was, I thought was just okay. I said, yeah, they got... They got some energy, they got some timing, but it was a couple that had the joy. You know, a lot of happiness. A gentleman was doing his swing out and like kicking his foot back and shaking his head. I love that kind of stuff. But the first set was just kind of normal. Nothing like surprising, but it was just normal. So I didn't even have them in the top three, but it was their second set. They did a special move, that slow motion aerial thing. No one was doing anything like that. Because that was so unique, they actually replaced the couple that I had in second. So that's my order. I had the couple in the blue, gentleman in the blue suit, and his lovely partner. I don't know their names, but man, shout out to them. They were working hard on the floor both sets. That's a clue, guys. Don't slack off on that second one. Um, especially on that final. That that Don't be silly on the finale part because I've won many competitions where it was super close. But because I was doing stuff they hadn't seen in the final and going 100%, that was the make or break for a lot of a lot of people. This was because I had talked to certain judges afterward. And you, usually you can't get a chance to do that. And of course, they may not tell you at events because it might look biased. But I'm going to tell you my opinion because I'm not actually at that event. And so that's the, that's the order for me. I've got the gentleman with the blue suit and his partner. Uh, the couple that was the most joyous for me, they did the slow motion aerial. They were second. They ended up getting all the way up to second to me just because of their second set. And the couple that I initially had at second, I had at third because their second set kind of fell off a little bit and they, you know, went back into the default setting that I think a lot of dancers do is to act silly and to do things that, to get the crowd into it. But I think the crowd's not dumb. We're not stupid. We see when... People are just having a good time or maybe they forgot their stuff and we just kind of do a woo-woo, rah-rah anyway. But deep inside, we want to be wild. We want to be one. We want to be inspired. And so I felt something on the first place couple. So big shout out to you guys. You guys crushed it. Um, so that's my ranking. What do you guys think? Who do you think should have won this competition? I know who I should, who I think. I already told you who I think. And um Man, I just, it would have been great to be able to see that live. So um, love to hear what you guys think in the comments section. Have you ever done a Strictly before? It's terrifying if you've never done it. I remember my very first Strictly, I did like a cartwheel uh, over my partner's uh, arms and she was just like, what, what is this guy doing? You know, I didn't know hardly anything, but I wasn't scared. When I came into Lindy Hop, I came from hip hop and I, I was kind of looking at Lindy Hop as something that was easier. And uh, so I wasn't scared. So I, I encourage you guys to, if you're timid in Lindy Hop, learn the technique, get all that stuff out of the way. You can take classes below that I have. I can show you the technique. It's, in my opinion, it's not hard. It's not easy, but it's simple. But once you get the technique out of the way, show us something you haven't done before. That's the real beauty of this art form. And I'm excited to be able to see uh, dancers all over the world because of the internet. And I encourage you guys, if you are those few people who actually like Lindy Hop, there are a few. I'm not saying everybody likes Lindy Hop. We have a lot of people in the, we call them fans from the stands that get to participate in Lindy Hop. It's a very social thing, but there's very, very, very few people who are contributing to the art form itself in a very unique way. So if you put yourself out here in a Strictly like this for criticism and to be in front of an audience with all that pressure, I salute you. You automatically get props from me. And it keeps me going. It keeps me excited. Every week I'm giving new stuff for my students online. And so I encourage you to do the same. If you're out there doing it strictly, try to do something we haven't seen. Try to, try to add something to the legacy of Lindy Hop. We're going against people like Frankie Manning, Leon James, Al Mims, uh, Maddie Purnell, 
We're going against some of these original creators of this dance. So I encourage you to be a part of this legacy in a more aggressive way. Don't just sit on the sidelines. Don't do cheap stuff. Don't just get the audience to roo-roo you. Don't do it. Get out there. Do something good because really, really good dancers appreciate it. And we love that you guys love this thing so much. So hit me up in the comments section. Let me know who you think should have won this competition. And if you're struggling, let me know. I'll help you. I'll see you either in class online or I will see you in the next reaction video. Whoa.